Yo, yeah, yo, beautiful people, this is Nate here. It's Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life Podcast, episode 106. 106? Yeah, okay. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I got it right, man. So, yo, man, we're back today. A lot of stuff going on this week. I mean, not really gaming wise. Really, gaming's dead, I think, again. Um, <laughs> but let's start like we always do. What have you been playing? What have you been playing, bro? Man, I've been over here playing that uh, that 2K. 2K. Got back on Division. Uh-huh. Um, I meant to get on last night too. Passed out. Hey man, it yeah. happens. It happens. Uh, man, I actually ended up finding a nice little squad. Man, we we ran for it. We ran for a good little bit. Oh really? Yeah. You did the matchmaking? Oh man, listen. I, had, I actually had a homie got on. Okay. And, uh, so jumped jumped in. Then we got two more uh, randoms in there. I guess. Uh-huh. Man, we was in there running for a good little bit. Man, I, I actually finished. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I finished. Hey man, listen. <laughs> I tried to wait for you, man. I tried to wait. But your yeah, levels, like, so we yeah. can go through. We I can we can we can jump in now, and I can you oh, can take I mean, me I, through. I, I, yeah, I was gonna say we we took off, bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> so yeah. you do after you beat the game, though. Uh, I mean, then you start the end game. So, okay. Like, it, it all completely changes. Okay. Uh, once you get to the end game. And so, like your your score and level ranking and all that stuff, it all changes. Like once you hit, so well, actually after you finish the game, you've got to reach level thirty, and then once you hit level thirty, the whole game changes. So were we? Um, did you hit level thirty? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Judas. So did you? I, <laughs> did you, I, tried, I tried. I know, I know. I tried. Were, were we on the last mission? Uh, I think that uh, I think that it was only one mission. I know I only had one mission left. Jesus Christ! And then I finished that, and then I ranked up because even when I finished the last. Level, I still had to rank up to level thirty. So okay. then I ranked up to level thirty, and it opened up the rest of the game. But I, I'll help you through. Okay, all right. Yeah, sure. yeah, we I definitely need to get that P back. So it was pretty cool, though. Oh man, yeah, it, it opens up the whole game. I might, I might cop the DLC now. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty nice. Okay, get out there. Okay, so two K division. Anything else? Uh, no, nah, I think that's been about it. That's been about it. Okay, yeah, yeah me, Matt. I've been yeah, on that. I've been, been on, on that. that I've been on that mutt, man. My, my Eagles winning. Um, got me a little rejuvenated. You know what it is? Is I follow the Mutt guys on uh, Twitter, uh-huh. and Twitter's the only social media I really use right now. So they were actually talking about all the new cars that came out. I had a '99 uh, Falls oh, overall. Yeah, I said I gotta have it, but I don't even know how to get them though. You gotta do all these challenges, and you gotta play Are the they game. Packs? It is some of it's opening packs, and some of it you can buy them. So okay. you can buy them with coins, and you get coins from playing the uh, the challenges, but. It's kind of a carrot on the stick because you use all those solo challenges to get your team better to go into the actual challenge to play against people like a season, uh-huh. and that's how you get a whole bunch of coins. Okay. So um, I'm going to definitely do that. I, can't, I fell off on that mat, man. I, I didn't even reinstall it. Did <laughs> uh, I didn't reinstall it. Yeah. I just, you know, like I said, with the birds winning, man, it got me a little reju- rejuvenated. And then uh, getting that 99 folds, I got to have them on my team. 99 yeah. Dawkins, too. Um, but besides that, um, what else did I play? Oh, the Dragon Ball Z. I'm about oh, halfway yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, still uh, still enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. I'm about halfway through. Um, it's like it's like playing a cartoon, man. It's a lot of halfway through the game is really tutorial, mm. and then after that is when you really get into the fighting. Okay. It's really gets some hard, some really hard matches. So had to fight, had to fight Cell with uh, Krillin. Got got Molly a couple times. Wow. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a fun game. I can see why I got rated so high, and I can see. I don't know how they're going to do with Evo this year as far as it's going to be one of the bigger fighting games at the tournament. Uh-huh. It seems really glitchy a little bit because it's one of those. But see, then again, I take that back because Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which I never was a fan of, you get 100 hit combos and everything like that, and people love that. So yeah. I can see I, it could be. Um, but, yeah, those two games is it. Like I get back on Division today. Um and then, like I said, Madden, the mutt, excuse me, the mutt, man, it's it's, it's pretty dope. They add more oh, stuff man. to it. It's adding more, like, just players. And then they got the, they just, they got the 99 or 97 Michael Vick they just put in there okay. that you can get too, which is, they call it the ultimate weapon. So, okay. yeah, Madden, Madden's where it's at, man. Mike Vick. Yeah. Okay. So you still got, you still got Diamond LeBron? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Diamond LeBron ain't going nowhere. Okay. Yeah. Right. Diamond LeBron. All right, man. So, uh, Google. This is came on left field, though. They're entering the console war. I don't know. Um, so Google has been working on a secret project called Yeti for the last four years. It's been known, um, but then they just started releasing some details on it. So basically what they're saying is the rumor is it's a streaming game service that works via Chromecast or it might actually be a, a console. No one really knows the, as far as what it's going to be. Uh-huh. PlayStation Now. Um, remember the Oya they had before? Google did Oya, whatever that little yeah. console thing was. They've tried this before. I don't know if this is going to exist in this climate. If it'll be, if it'll it'll work. What kind of games are they looking to put now? Like, are they looking to put like mobile games on the TV screen, or are they looking for like big? No, big know, titles. Okay. Like big, like basically they're going to be a competitor. What it said was is rumored to be a competitor for 
PlayStation and Microsoft. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know that we need another console. No. I don't, know we I don't think we need. Fourth entry. No, nah, I don't think we need one either, and I don't think we need a streaming service because they never work. Yeah. You know, it's different. Like one thing I do like about the place the uh, the Xbox Game Pass is that it's the actual game. Yo, no, 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 no. no. All right. Well, so okay. I, I, I looked it. at that. Uh, I looked at Xbox Game Pass okay. uh, the other day. Uh huh. Bruh, that library is so garbage. Like it is. It's got some hits in there. Bruh. For ten dollars a month. Full of trash, bro. Like, I mean, if you want to play a bunch of old Xbox and Xbox 360 games, be my guest. But I mean, like, they got like 2K16 in there. Like, yeah. my brother. They got all the, they got all the Gears of Wars. They had um, the Devil May Cry's. They had the Bayonettas. Um, only only good game that looked like it would actually be worth the pay would be uh, maybe Bioshock. But you could actually probably buy Bioshock One for less than ten dollars. Yeah, I didn't know Infinite got crap. Like people were really it was like critically acclaimed. We both talked about it. It was a phenomenal game. I wonder what that was all about. But you can play Infinite if you never played the Bioshock series. Get in there and mow. Play those. Those are all good. They had a, yeah. a lot of the Assassin Creeds were in there too. Yeah, um, I, I mean, it was like Assassin's Creed Chronicles, and like the nobody wants to play the old Assassin's Creed. Like, it's it's a wrap for that. Like, listen, that service is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that service is a rip off, man. A complete garbage. I don't think it's a rip off. Listen, I man, think for ten dollars a month, gone, have you gone A to Z through those titles, man? Horrible, horrible, yeah. man. I went through a lot of them. I haven't played a lot of them yet either. The Mega Man, I think I played Mega Man Legends the other day. Listen, that that, that catalog was awful. Yeah, I, I I didn't even renew it for this month. Um, I got it for the last month and played it, and I'll probably renew it. I'll renew it again when um the first party title come out. We'll see if these comes out. The fourteen day free trial would seem like a rip off. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going for the hook, man. Absolutely not. Yeah, I mean, I know you wouldn't. Um. I think you should try. I mean, man. I would if they had some dope games, man. But I like I was thinking about. It. I was like, you know, maybe I'll pick this up, man, to uh-huh. see what it's about. Man, I looked through that library and was like disgusted. It was disgusted. It was a no no. Man, complete bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing in there worth playing. Yeah, but as far as with with Google though, man, um, a streaming service is going to depend on whether your internet's good. Like me, yeah. our internet is probably good enough to do it, and it, I think it'll be okay. Um, but a lot of people, you know, you know, mom's paying for the twenty gig, the twenty megabyte package. They ain't, they ain't not getting that hundred or something. So right. I don't know if it's going to be how good it's going to be. But like I said, it's still rumored out. We don't know what's going to happen. But that's what's going on right now. I'm good on that. You good on that? <laughs> I'm good on that. Whatever. If it ran through Chrome, though, I mean, then it would just already be kind of there. Yeah. But I wouldn't play it. I'd rather my stuff be local. Man, I, I, I just know that they're not going to have the good games that you want to play, man. Like, listen, you want to play good games, man. Get you a PlayStation. Well, one of these companies need to do is start discounting digital games. Now, that would be a smart move, but, I mean, as long as people are willing to pay full price for the digital games, then... Well, hey, that's, but that's one thing that change. the Game the game Pass is actually doing, though, is actually you're paying nine ninety nine a month. There's no contract behind it. They're getting their first-party titles. So, what if they happen to get, like, some of the third-party titles? Like, if they got, you know, like, say, EA Access or whatever, they did Madden, yeah. or, you know, 2K did something where they put I it mean, in the game. If they did a current like version that. of the game, yeah. I'd be all good with that. Yeah. But, like, I mean, 2K16 was just straight-up disrespect. Absolutely. Absolutely, those players aren't even there. A lot of those players aren't even in the league anymore. Right. You know? All right, man. So Call of Duty uh, 4 actually leaked information. Uh, the next Call of Duty will be Black Ops 4. Yes. What you think about that? I'm excited about it, man. Like, World War II has been really good, man. A lot of a lot of people loving that boots on the ground yeah. uh, feel going back to COD. Absolutely. Black Ops is probably my favorite in the you know all the different series. Uh, Infinity War is doing it, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Between uh, between that and Modern Warfare, those those are probably my two favorite series uh, in the Black Ops catalog or in the uh, Call of Duty catalog. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to it, man. Boots back on the ground, man. None of that flying crap. They yeah. realized the player base didn't want that flying stuff, yeah. and they sound like they're moving in the right direction, man. Give us a quality zombies game, and I'm back. I'm, yeah, I'm back in there. Absolutely, because that's what everybody wants. Exactly. And um, but it is it is confirmed that uh, Infinity War is doing it. I remember. They had um, Activision had their call this week and talking about Destiny, uh-huh. um, which a uh, little bit of news about that. They're going to have a big comment release, which is equivalent to the Taken King from Destiny One. Uh-huh. That basically changed the complexity of the whole game. That's when everybody started getting real back into Destiny One. Was when Taken King came out. Um, that's going to be free because at this point it kind of needs. To it, be. it needs to be, bro. Yeah. It needs to be. But they're going to have that's going to come out for uh, Destiny Two. And I haven't been back. I haven't played Destiny Two in months, so okay. I haven't been back to it. But they did say on that actual earnings call that Infinity War is actually going to do the next Call of Duty. So everyone's geeked about that's that. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I'm here for it. So Call of Duty, that's, it's like they got their uh, their legs back. But uh, I like the fact they're getting back. Like you said, boots on the ground. Get away from Titanfall. Titanfall is by itself. 
We don't want Call Titan of Duty. Over. But I'm saying I don't want Call of Duty to be like Titanfall. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I don't. I don't want that uh, that flying around mess. Yeah, man. We're done with that. Yeah. So oh, that's it, gaming wise. Yeah. There ain't man, no, there's hey, nothing really else going on. Struggle. Yeah. I turned the switch on. I did beat halfway through uh, Zelda. I've got games I've been playing. The second run. Yeah. Second run. Okay. I've been playing that. It's, you know, it's better on the Switch because it's portable. Is and, there what? What's the big difference uh, there for the Switch? It just looks better. It looks better. Um, no, no extra content or anything no, like that. No, no extra content. No extra content. Um, fuzzy boys. Fuzzy boys. Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. Um, no, no extra content. The DLC that came out, I'm pretty. I'm not gonna pick it up till I finish the game. Um, it's free though, so I'll, I'll play it once it's once I once it's available. Once I beat it, so there you go. But that's it, man. Switch Switch is um, not dead in my house. There you go. Hey, man. Why yeah. aren't you enjoying it? Yeah, man. All right, man. So Super Bowl is clear. You know, my boys are. Had, we had the, uh, the parade. No one died. Okay, hey, nobody man. died. That's a win. Yeah, some couple people got shanked. Hey, man, that's regular. Um, <laughs> you know, a couple people got knocked out. That's regular. People got cussed out. Whatever. That's what. That's regular too. Um, they had the, uh, my boy Jason Kelsey did his best uh, WWE impersonation. Dressed like Piccolo. Oh, dressed like Piccolo. Uh, it was it was good to see my city, man. I seen my uncle on Instagram smiling. Just happy, you know, just happy, man. He's been waiting so long for it. You know, it made it made my little thirty nine years on earth seem like nothing. Um, but now the question has like, what's going to happen with Nick Foles? Because yeah. Nick Foles was the, was the MVP. Um, he won the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz took him to the dance. He had him cooking throughout the year. But now everyone's saying, what's going to happen with Nick Foles? Nick Foles is going right back where he need to be, man. Right to back up. Yeah, man, he's, you know, he got to command that back. Man. Nah, he's not. He got to command the back. Nah, Even though, you know what? Uh, the more I think about it, man, like uh, that that system, that system just. It, I, was it I was just about to say that. I was just about to say plug and play. I don't. I don't know if it's plug and play. I, I think it's plug and play. No, nah, I don't. I don't think it's plug because. Okay, well, Do y'all remember how y'all felt about Nick Foles two seasons ago? Well, Nick Foles was under Chip Kelly though. Y'all was like, "Get this yeah. trash can <laughs> out of here." Well, he was under Chip Kelly at that time, and uh, Chip Kelly went to went to Kapoop. You know, he, yeah. he 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 rebooks the whole lineup. He got rid of Deshaun Jackson, got rid of Macklin, got rid of McCoy. He gutted the whole team. He basically tried to run, get all his Oregon guys out there. We thought he was getting Mariota at one point. <laughs> yeah. So that's why they got Nick Foles about it. But before, when the system was working, he was when a pro he, bowler. When he came in right behind uh, uh, Mike Vick. Yeah. yeah, he was doing real he was good a pro there bowler. for a second. Um, and then y'all was like, man, burn this trash Yeah, man. get him out of here. Um, And then he got cut by the Rams, and he was about to be retired. And then yep. Doug Peterson convinced him to come back, and that's how the story ended. So now it's time to command him bag um super bowl mvp gotta command the bag shoot if i'm him i'm definitely going to i'm definitely going if, to, I, if our next topic option. got what he got then uh yeah yeah so we yeah, get you know to what i'm that. saying we're <laughs> gonna got to command the bag yeah um or do you let carson wentz go no nah, heck no carson wentz is the is the cadillac the offense but, is plug and play man I'm gonna, but i'm gonna tell you why it's gonna work itself out because carson wentz not only did he tear his acl he tore his pcl he had a complete blowout yeah so he's not gonna probably be ready by the start of the season true so he's gonna come and they're going to babysit him back into the lineup. So Nick Foles is going to be the starter next year. He's going to be the starter. I mean, that, that's tough, though, man. So what, you're going to let a guy start? And if he's playing well, it's like, well, when Wentz is ready, are you going to upset him even though he's been playing well? Like, Yeah. I mean, Foles, if he, if he comes out cooking, he's going to he's gonna sit um, once Nick Foles, I mean, once uh, Carson Wentz is ready to get in there and start again. Yeah, he's going to be back to the backup. Yikes. And I don't think anything's wrong with that. It's Look. a team sport. Just like, just like Carson Wentz had to eat crow, not eat crow, but had to swallow his pride. And, and hold that trophy up knowing that he didn't have anything really to do with the championship. Nick Foles went out there and out Tom Brady. Nick Foles is going to do the same thing with Carson I mean, Wentz. Carson ready. Wentz did what he needed to do to get the he team did. in that position. So, he did. You know, and he, it, he should definitely hang his hat, feel yeah, proud he should. of that win no matter yeah. what. So. But, no, Nick Foles goes right. It's a business, man. Nick Foles, yeah. Nick Foles goes right back to the backup spot. And that, if anything, that shows you having a good two good quarterbacks is, is good in the NFL because they drop like flies, man. You're going to yeah. get hurt. Like, I mean, even like all the durable guys like Ben Roethlisberger, Cam Newton, they're sitting out plays in games and probably shouldn't even been on certain games from getting concussions and stuff. Yeah. So having two good quarterbacks is actually a good thing. Um, but but having, I, I do agree with you, though, having one that won a Super Bowl and outdueled the GOAT and it, it is 99 overall in Madden, it's going to be hard-pressed, bro. Man, so I don't know. Bag. Even even I don't know. Nick Foles, get your bag, brother. Yeah, get I, your bag. Hey, man, Nick Foley and Dynamite, go get your money, man. Yeah. Go get your money. All right, man. So bigger news actually from that though is one thing they had um, during the press conference after the game. They talked to Brady and they talked to Gronk. So the thing that got me about Gronk though was somebody asked Gronk if he considered retirement, if he was really thinking about hanging him up, and his answer is what got me. His answer was, "Who told you that?" It wasn't no. It wasn't yes. Right. It was like who told? Almost like he had a conversation with somebody in his camp and they leaked it or something. Right. But if I'm Gronk, man, I'm I might be done, bro. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, he 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 be taking a lot of big hits. Yeah, man. man. He, he been uh, nicked up, dinged up for the past what, like two, three seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I mean, if you look at him out there, he's got the full body armor on him. Just coming um, off a concussion right yeah. before the Super Bowl. Yep. He and shoot, I don't know what they did at halftime. It sounded like to me they gave him some smelling salts or a cortisone shot to his adrenaline vein in his neck or something. Because <laughs> first half he was nowhere to be found. Yeah. Second half he came out and was a complete issue. He had that one drive where it was just him. It was just him. Yeah. Literally, it was just drop back, throw the ball to Grunt, and you cannot stop it. Um, but I don't know, man. I think if he retires, I mean, he's top five, man. He got to be. You know, I mean. Be. But it just it just seems weird that he would be ready to retire so early in his career. I mean, it doesn't feel like he's been in the league You got to think about long. it, though. A lot of people were like, Patrick Willis hung him up early. Yeah. You know, Barry Sanders hung hey, long him up time, early. Long, long-term health, man. Yeah. You know, hey, listen, money can't buy that. So. Absolutely. And, and Gronk. Well, I mean, keep it all the way funky, man. He's got a calling in WWE. Oh, yeah. yeah he can leave yeah, there yeah. and probably make more money. I believe you know so, what I mean? yeah. I mean, he got a long career in WWE. Absolutely. So, if any, for him, I think, if I'm him, I'm walking away, man. Go, go get Ronda that bag. Rousey it. Yeah, go Ronda Rousey it, man. Go get that bag in uh, WWE. Yeah. Um. All right, man. So, yo, your boy Jimmy G. Speaking of getting that bag. Oh, my gosh. Pretty, the prettiest boy in, uh, in the quarterback in the NFL. I will go ahead and say it. I can eat crow and say that. They backed up the Brinks truck for this dude. He's won seven games. Hey, listen, man. What what kind of confused me was like, man, when they compared his number to Cap's numbers. Yes. It was like, yo, they yes. were pretty much identical. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, uh, Cap had a better uh, touchdown to interception ratio. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, okay. Bro, he's the highest paid quarterback in the NFL now. Yeah, in history. In yeah, NFL in history. history. Right, history, yeah. Uh, the craziest part was that, like, nobody really seemed to care. But right. That's because NBA is that product right now. Nobody yeah. cares about the NFL. So, right, way right. Out. NFL's always But, out. Uh, yeah, Jimmy G got the bag for five games? Yes. For five games, I was like, it. "Yeah, man." You if, you're a, if you're a Forty Nineers fan, though, you you are a little bit optimistic, though, because they got a ton of money, they got a lot of draft picks in this draft. Yeah, um, they they can make some things happen. They can, you know, the Browns too. You it know, seems of course. like the the quarterback position is the only position in football that's overpaid. Well, I mean, uh, uh, what's his name from uh, the Redskins got all that money? Yeah, uh, uh, Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Uh, Kirk Cousins, yeah, got all he that money, the and now they're like, he's a trash can, and they're shipping him out wherever he's gonna. He's go. gonna he's gonna break the bank again. Man, for what? Because he got he God, got franchise he got franchised the last two years because yeah. the Redskins didn't give him his money. The thing in the NFL, here's the thing: the thing in the NFL, which is what's going to plague my Eagles too, is you get if you can get a good quarterback early, like a, like Carson Wentz his second year, like Russell Wilson his second year in the league, he Catch was him on a bad deal. Exactly, yeah. you get him on that rookie deal, which means you can overpay everyone else. Yeah. So when the quarterback position takes up so much money it that does. your cap, that your cap space is going to be crazy. So you don't have enough money to pay everybody else. That's what happened to Seattle. That's why Seattle's bad right now, yep. and they're all broken down. And everybody's getting traded and stuff. His cats making a lot of money. It's time to pay those guys. Yeah. So Wentz is the same way. We don't. I think our highest paid player is Trevor. Is is Cox? It might be Cox is the highest paid player. But once Wentz ends up getting to his bag year where he's going to make the 27 big old bag. then you know we're going to be struggling you know, too. The, the one saving grace for the NFL is that them contracts ain't guaranteed man. no they're not the minute you get hurt you're out of here you're out of here you're you're really paying you none of the rest of that no you get your guaranteed money yeah the rest but of that, but forget that, about it that was so big about Garoppolo's deal because he got 90 million guaranteed man 170 but 90 of it was guaranteed that's crazy hey man get your money bro yeah just don't go swimming in San Francisco there's sharks in the water <laughs> um but no, I was surprised by it, man. Like I saw it come up, I was like, "Yikes!" Man, yes, he's unproven. I hope he ends up playing well for him. He played well the last five I hope games. He stinks. Yeah, I hope he blows and up just too. Goes out there I hope, and just I hope, robs them. Just I hope, I hope the spirit of Ray Lewis jumps in somebody's body and goes inside <laughs> his head. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I think he got too much money. Yeah, man. just get out there, and just rob him blind. Yeah, man, my boy Cap out here can't get a job. Right, stop it. The revenge of Cap. Yeah, stop it. Take up all your Cap space. Yeah. So now that the NFL is done, bro, we can definitely put that season behind us. It was Thank God. rating. Was it was the lowest rated Super Bowl. Yeah, well, um, no one watched it. I'm just glad my birds got in before the NFL was out of here. Yeah. They got their W. They got their uh, their, their their win. Um, but, yo, it's basketball time, bro. So, the biggest basketball news, as we already know, the Cavs. Le GM. It wasn't, no, hold on. I'm going to get on you about this. It's not Le GM. It's, this was Dan Gilbert. Dan. Ladan. Ladan and whatever the other dude's name is. Because at one point I asked you, I was like, bro, do we even know who's making these trades? They <laughs> traded everybody. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, yeah, I mean, man, fire sale it was a fire guys. sale. It was like, yeah. I told you, JR was at the crib biting his nails, man, which I'm surprised Tristan Thompson and him made it out. Tristan Thompson's bad contract kept him. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, J, and JR, um, I think it was just him being cool with Bron, kept him. And they let Wade out. Wade got moved back to back to Miami. Just because when I first saw that, I was like, "Oh man, that dirty." No, it was, no, that was he threw him a solid. Yeah, he, he did. They did yeah. him a solid. Sending him back yeah. to Miami. He so did him a solid. Good. He even because even Bron said it like he didn't look right in the Cavs uni. Man, he looked right being in Miami. Yeah, you know, he came in last night. He can go. Uh, this is this a swan song for Dwayne Wade. 
I mean, it's over for him. I mean, he he's still playing pretty good, but he guy's 30, 37. He had three points. I mean, he's just getting back into the lineup down there. He had three I didn't points, expect man. Him, I didn't expect him to ball out. I yeah. mean, but he, he looked all right. He, did, he, he checked the game. Threw, uh, threw white side, nice little lob. Yeah. Nice little lob boy. Ooh. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he looked all right, man. But the Cavs, it wasn't no surprise. They blew it on up, man. You know, uh, they had to do what they had to do. Uh, way going back to Miami was a good look. Everybody else got shafted though, except for I, it and Channing. They landed kind of soft in LA, even though what's going to happen to it's career. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. Channing Fry, uh, they're talking about he's going to get bought out. Maybe go back to no, I can't. On a, on he got two years left. Oh man, that sucks. So he's he's with the Lakers for for the rest of the year. Hey, well, at least him and Luke Walton are cool. So you know what I'm saying. I guess I ain't mad at that. Right. Um, and then uh, they said yeah. they sent Shump to Sacramento. Yeah, they said they sent Shump oh. to Siber- Siberia, man. They <laughs> sent <laughs> sent to uh, sent uh, Derrick Rose to Utah. Even though Utah's supposed to go buy him out, and then the Timberwolves are thinking about picking him up. But so. they said that that's where he that's wanted to be. Like I guess the the t- he wanted to be in Utah. Well, no, he didn't want to be. I guess Utah wanted him before he went with uh, the Cavs. Okay. So I guess Utah really wanted him. Well, Even then, I mean, you can't get a proper Caesar in Utah, okay? So even though he looks like Shaquille Sunflower out there, <laughs> he doesn't get haircuts anymore. But it, he might be done. I think Derrick Rose might retire. Uh, maybe, man. Listen, uh, that Adidas contract leaked. Man, he's good. <laughs> yeah. He's golden. He ain't got nothing to worry about. So yeah, he, got a hundred, he got 100 mil coming. Yeah, so he, he's all Gucci. But, uh, yeah, man, I, they, they sent him all the way, man. Went ahead and blew it up. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a team just blow up midseason like that. They flipped everybody. I think they flipped more than 60% of their uh, yeah. their roster. But let's get back to what you were saying, though, about IT. Life yeah. comes at you fast, bro. Yeah, it does. Before he got hurt, he was poised to be maxed out by Boston. Yep. Got hurt. Kyrie wanted to get traded. That whole thing happened. Now he's a journeyman again. Man, it sucks. But he, I don't think he gets it, though, because what he, he – supposedly he already told – his agent tweeted one of the reporters saying IT yeah, will not be coming off, off the bench. bench. Magic already said he coming off the bench. Bro, that's what got you in trouble before. Just shut your mouth and go who? Well, my thing is, like, come on, bro. You're not going to be a five foot nine shooting guard. Right. They're not going to move Lonzo for you. I mean, maybe you guys can, like, kind of do a combo thing in the backcourt and – you know, let Lonzo handle the ball, but technically be the two since he's a little bit bigger. But, uh, bro, I think what it is too, though, we need to give Brad Stevens more credit. Yeah. Cause they, I mean, Brad Stevens basically catered the whole offense around IT, yeah. and he had the, the double horns run at the top. He was ball dominant, and he was an all star MVP candidate for, for one, one or two seasons. He Those two seasons. Him the right way, but Absolutely. I mean, you got to build a scheme around IT, but if you got a team that, you know what I'm saying? You know, it to Utah might have actually been a pretty good look for him. Utah's like actually they could have they could have built a little uh, they could have built a little thing around him. They could have, I think, but it is more like an Iverson type player, man. Just he's gonna there. need to he's gonna need to be on a bad team, yeah, or a team with no other stars, so right? That way he can you know what I'm saying just go ahead and be a chucker. Yeah, like a bunch of goons. You know who would have been good for it would have been that Memphis team from a couple years ago. Yeah, if he'd have been in, like they got the ball out of but, Conley's hand or yeah, something. Yeah, no, that wasn't gonna happen. No, it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> That's what, I think it might be done, man. Like I think, I mean, he'll, far, find, a spot. he'll find he'll find he'll a, a soft landing spot. But I'm saying though, as far as getting that that big payday, yeah, I think that those dates are over. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know? listen, man, he willing to uh, swallow his pride, man. Go to go to OKC, man. Win a chip. <laughs> You'll be all right. Move Russ up to the two. But you know another but thing you too. You know they be fighting. Oh, they do right because Russ is you. You go on Russ that ain't team. giving up all them shots. No, absolutely not. You're yeah. gonna fight, yeah. but nothing too though about um, about Isaiah though was that I don't think that Ty Luke could hide him on defense. Oh, he no, was such couldn't. a liability. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm telling you, when I watched them uh, play the Rockets, it was, <laughs> there was a point where they uh, they ran a pick and roll and it caused a switch, mm-hmm. and uh, it ended up out on Capella. It looked like Harden just kind of like. Two fingers lofted the ball up there like, yo, there ain't nothing you can do about this. <laughs> Can't throw the ball over a cup, man. Like, it, it, was, it was just so soft the way he passed the ball in there. Like, oh, yeah, this is going to be easy two points. Just, but on, just but what, what killed me, though, is like you hear the sound bites from IT, and like he really believed he was playing defense, though, man. Like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, you're, you're, you're a liability out here, you know? Yeah. But, yo, but what about the guys that came in, though? So we got George Hill came in, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nash Jr., and Rodney Hood. Yeah. So what do we think about that? Uh, I mean, Cavs. You're not they, on it. They did, uh, You're so not on it. They did the best that they could, I guess. I mean, it was the middle of the season. They were desperate. Yeah. They, I mean, for for desperation moves, that was that, they were okay desperation moves. Yeah. But I mean, if you really look at it, the reason the other teams didn't really want those guys. All right, Jordan Clarkson's been on the trading block for two years. Okay? How how in the world did he did they flip? Uh, what's my man's name that to get uh when it came in with it? Uh, uh, Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder. How did they flip Jay Crowder for? Rodney Hood, just straight up. Hey man, listen, uh, Utah must have been done with his ish. 
You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, he was one of those players where he played, he scored 20, 25, and then some nights he wouldn't play. I mean, it's one of those things like, yo, listen, man, it's not hard to score points on a bad team or whenever there's not a clear-cut, you know, all-star on that squad. I mean, Gobert was their best player, if mm-hmm. we're being all the way honest. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to get shots. Yeah. In LeBron's offense, where does Rodney Hood really fit in? I don't know. He's catching shoot. He's know. 39% um, catching shoot threes. Yeah, but I'm eh, – I don't know, man. But that, that was with that old team, man. What he's going to do – listen, Isaiah was averaging 30 with Boston, okay? You're so off it. You're off right? it. You're off it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean – You're like, off it. I know you are. I know you're I mean, off it. they they – they, I told you, man. They went from a seventy-eight to an eighty. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the eighty overall. Yeah, I mean, like they got better, but is I it mean, enough to keep? Is it enough to go uh, get them out of the East? Uh, maybe. I mean, we'll I, know LeBron, tomorrow. LeBron is going to give you at least a shot. Hey, LeBron's you know out there looking spirited, man. He's looking rejuvenated. I mean, he's out there with some horses that could run with him. Finally, you know. Finally, man, it looked like he he gave up about uh, mid December. Oh yeah, he was definitely was giving up. Yeah, he he, he was he was Dallas Maverick out. LeBron again. I yeah. definitely thought that was coming out. So um, hopefully, hopefully, you know what I'm saying. This is what he needed to reboot. But is it enough to keep him? No, nah, I don't think so. You don't think so? You think LeBron's leaving? Where's he you gonna go, what? Kev? Houston. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's all the way. Okay, first of all, he's not going to L.A. Right, he's not going to Because that's what kills me about everyone. They're saying like L.A. made a great move and they freed up all this cat space. They're going to get him and Paul George. Listen, they've, L.A.'s kind of put it out that they're not really looking to land anybody in this mm. free agency. They're, they're more so looking towards uh, 2019, trying to get somebody like Clay or right. or, uh, or Kawhi, somebody like that. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, is that going to be enough to keep LeBron? I don't know. I, I think LeBron wants to finish out in Cleveland. I think that, you know what I'm saying, he – is tired of the backlash that he got from the Miami. Yeah, move. I don't see him point, moving. At this point, it's like, man, listen, you made the Miami move. It was what it was. At 34 years old, man, you're allowed to go ring chase, man. Go for it. Bro. Yeah, but I don't I'm think. Not mad at that. I, I definitely think LeBron's a legacy dude. I think if he legacy's already I, in the dumpster, man. Nah, legacy's not good. When listen, he came back to Cleveland, well, it rejuvenated that, that yeah, legacy. Listen, I'm saying like uh, everybody always says, like, listen, that that Cavaliers championship is worth way more than those two. Oh, absolutely. Eat. But but do, do you think it's vilified a little bit from coming back to my coming back from Miami to Cleveland? No, I think everybody looks at that like a feel good story, and then he won the chip. Like if you ask me. That was LeBron's real first championship. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those heat rings were kind of cheap. I gained so much more respect from the one they lost, though. The one they lost that year with Deladova gave took ten years oh, off his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I gave I gave LeBron, LeBron so much more respect. Went Super man. Saiyan and all oh, that. he went straight yeah, Super no Saiyan. No doubt. You know, and then he came back the next year and won it. Um, That's a feel good story. It is. You know it is a feel good story. But another thing too about the fact that um, these moves too is now it. it um, uh, 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 Kevin Love is clear cut the number two option on the team. Oh, absolutely. So I think absolutely. when he comes back. With all the other additions that they had, Oldman, whatever his name is, look, you can't replicate that energy. That energy. Yeah. I don't think dude is really like a great player. I just know he came in last night and he gave energy, man. And that's the one thing I think the Cavs needed was like they looked so lethargic out there. Yeah. They would just look like they were just old and didn't, and they weren't really, really older dudes. They just was guys who were paid already, had accolades. And then one of the dirty just work. a bunch of specialty guys. It was well, you said it was a bunch of names. It was just a bunch of names, a bunch of specialty guys. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This new team, I guess that, you know what I'm saying, the ego should be at a pretty low point. Everybody should just be in there ready to put their head down and work. Yeah. Uh, so I mean they've got that working for them. But yeah. when I look at that roster, does that roster have the talent to beat OKC? No. To beat Houston. To but beat see, Golden State. They don't have enough here's the here's the best thing that can happen for the Cavs. Houston takes out OKC. I mean, not OKC. Houston takes out Golden State. Houston or OKC take out Golden State. I'm going to tell you the team that looks the scariest in the West to me, besides the, the MVP beard, is OKC. OKC because, is clicking at the right time. Yes, and Paul George is a complete problem right now. Yeah, he's catching on fire. It's lightweight his team. Uh, I mean, nah, because when Russ and, uh, Russ, Russ and Melo sat the other night, man, he lost. He lost to the took, Lakers, wasn't it? Yeah, he took yeah. the hell. So. And they were there. Actually, it was a recruitment trip because they, they were screaming in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, we want Paul. We want Paul. <laughs> Um, we want Paul, but that that, that that young Laker scrappy team, man. You got uh, Blade Brown, aka um, what's my man's name? Uh, what's, what's Blaze Brown's name on the Lakers? The lefty uh, looks I'm like Blade Brown at the weak box. I'm not sure. Uh, Randall, Julius Randall. Julius Randall. Julius Randall. Okay, he, he's in the contract year. He's out there giving him everything he could last yeah, I mean, night. Got to. So. I, I like the little young core of the Lakers. So yeah. yeah, that'd be all right. But I mean, uh, the Cavs really in contention with this roster. Uh, I don't. I don't see it. I yeah. mean. 
I'm never. I'm not going to count LeBron out. Yeah, but I don't think that I don't think that they got that. It much makes it interesting. In this trade. It makes it interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with these last what they got like 38 games left in the season. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, shoot, they play Boston Sunday. Yeah, but we'll see what happens with that. Get out of church early. Check yeah. that game out. And listen, listen, don't let Gordon Hayward return before uh, when playoffs start because if they <laughs> if he does, man, Cavs in trouble, in trouble. What kind of Gordon Hayward are you going to get though? I mean, I think he'd be fine. I mean, Paul George came back and was just fine. That's the freakiest thing about Paul George. His leg went through his body. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was gruesome. He'd be all right. And he's out here just balling again. Yeah. He's I mean, undecided, Gordon, too. Gordon Hayward already getting shots up. Yeah, he getting shots up. You know? He, I mean, as far as the dislocation of the ankle, they, they it actually was better they did that versus having a sprained ankle. Right. Um, it actually, it's a clean. Just, he'll be back. He'll be okay. It looked, it looked worse than what it was. Right. Um, so, we'll see what happens with that. But Paul George is undecided. Yeah. I think he. I think he's going to sign back with OKC. Uh, I, I don't see him going to LA. I think it depends on what happens in the playoffs. I mean, he he's from California. You know what I'm saying? So is Russ. He, he, he's, he's wanted to go back home and, you know what I'm saying, play in front of hometown. Russ is just built different. But do you think that LA, because the thing about Laker fans, and I know we both have Laker fa- friends that are fans, they have that Laker allure. They just have the smugness where they just feel like, oh, we're going to get them. I mean, it's Do you LA. feel like it's still there? Yeah, man. Come on. Who doesn't want to live in LA? I mean, I know Jordan Clarkson look upset. When yeah. they showed him coming to the uh, Atlanta last Listen, night. Listen, Larry Nance is from Akron, and he was looking like, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I mean, Jordan Clarkson had already made it clear, you know what I'm saying? He liked to be an, an L.A. man with them girls. Yeah. That, like, that was his focus. So. Yeah, but you're rich, man. Fly yourself out to L.A., man. Uh, but I'm saying, like, uh, you Stop know what I'm it. saying? That, that, that might be a little bit of an indictment of the type of player he is, man. Hey, you know that might he, be. He but play up for the girls. I will say, though, the best thing that happened to D'Angelo Russell was getting out of L.A. Is it? Yeah. I mean, he he's looking all right on the Nets. Yeah, Nets suck though. Oh, they do suck. Yeah, so they do suck. It's not Sacramento. It's not like Shump. Shump. They listen, send Shump to Siberia. Listen, every every team somebody gonna score now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. There's no defense just, being played. It, it just is what it is. So somebody yeah. gonna score. But when it comes time to win, uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, man. Since my birds won uh, won the Super Bowl, man, the official saddest organization in in uh, in all sports is the Knicks. Okay. Oh. The Knicks. I mean, because. Pork and beans towards ACL. Yeah. Okay. On a dunk. Too. On a like, dunk. Yeah, nasty, vicious throwdown dunk, and then boom, injury. The next, the, the Knicks have no luck, man. Curse. They're cursed. Cursed. Yeah. They're cursed. Living the Browns, man. Yeah. They're cursed. I mean, the Knicks are the worst. They were they're worth the most in the NBA. They're like two billion dollars. They just reported. Um, so their money, you know, they, they sell out every time. But they they never recovered from trading Bernard King, man. Hey, man. Yeah, listen. Listen, the bounce back going to be tough. But one day, one day the Knicks will return to prominence. Yeah. But you know what? It's, it's hard to get star players out of there. And then mm-hmm. when you do get them, you run them out. Yeah. I mean, hey, what do yeah. you want? Dolan don't care, man. He, he's out here just. more concerned about his band. Exactly. He's out here worried about the band. Yeah. You know, but, uh, yeah, pork and beans. I think more than anything, it was the LeBron stench, man. The Team LeBron is going dropping like flies, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Team LeBron. <laughs> team LeBron. is <laughs> looking bad. Yeah. And then they replaced, they replaced pork and beans with Kim Walker. Kim Walker. Like, that's not that's not fair, right? You know what's going on here? Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. John Wall got replaced. It's, it's all bad, man. Yeah, Ben Simmons is very upset. Ben Simmons is very upset. Yeah, they call Ben Simmons Rondo, Tall Rondo. I I, I rebuke that. I re- that's not accurate. Accurate. Hey, stop, man. Ben Simmons is special. Listen, Rondo was special. Rondo was special, but Ben yeah. Simmons can score though. Tate is nah, special. He really can. Yes, he can. He averaged <laughs> he, nineteen. I mean, he can score within about ten feet of the hoop. Hey, but that shows you how good he is. The fact that you know he can't shoot, but he's still going to the rim. I mean, he's tall and lanky. Yeah, he you gets to the rim. Mean? He gets hey, to the rim. You know what I'm saying? Get to the bucket. But uh, yeah, man, they start they start clogging up that paint, man. He start looking a little shaky. Well, yeah, they can't because Embiid's on there. He's shooting threes too. Yeah, that's love, where it gets rough. Yeah, that's where it gets crazy because Embiid is he's invoked the spirit of uh, Kim Olajuwon in his body. Yeah, exactly. I, hopefully, he's hoping. Uh, hopefully he invoked. The Stay healthy. Of him yeah, too. stay healthy. Yeah. He cocky with it too. I saw the other night when they was winning. He took his shoes off and laid down. Like I, I might want to fight you after that. Like you gonna beat me and then you gonna just lay down and you talking trash on the bench with yeah. your shoes off. Or maybe step on your kneecap. Exactly, man. Shoot you in your leg like uh, the boy from the Knicks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Cle oh, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, that is sure they don't care nothing about his well being. They shot my man in the kneecap, man. Like, yeah, they did. <laughs> that's some savages <laughs> out there in NY, man. That's why Porky beats towards ACL, but y'all don't love nothing. All right, man. Uh, I better do who shot him had Tim's on. That's just a, that's a fact. Lonzo, man, he's releasing. Um, he's prepping to release release his mixtape yeah, on man. February fifteenth. Yeah, stop it. Zo tape, man. Let's go. It, man. Let's go, man. Big baller, and he got the big baller baby on the way. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Zo. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I'm re- like, listen, 
Zoe, Zoe, Zoe got a little, he got a little sausage body. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm a, little, a little rapper style, man. Listen, yeah. review is coming. Believe that. <laughs> Are we gonna review that? I'm reviewing that. Oh, God. oh yeah, oh, we on that. We might as well. Yeah, I mean, we got to the Zoe tape is yeah. here, man. I'm ready for it. He got first, the first song is named Levar. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. AC LeVar was on there with Kevin Hart, too. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. I mean, the, listen, Triple B's is here, man. Yeah, man, here they, to stay. They're here to stay, man. They got the bag. Yeah. And people care to see. And uh, keep it all quiet as kept. The brothers are over there hooping. Yeah, and listen, man, Zoe got a concert out there in uh, Lithuania. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I saw I saw them. They had like a they had like an award show or something. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah. Lavar just up there, just out there, just just talking crazy, just yeah. talking reckless. Just talking reckless. Man, international superstar, man. Yeah. I think he started a bottle of water company, man. Yeah, he big did. Big bottle of water. Yeah, big bottle of water. Yeah, triple B's, man. Let's, let's go. All right, man. So I tell you, who's not been getting a lot of love is your boy Justin Timberlake. Oh man, he's getting dragged for this new album. What's that about? We reviewed it. It wasn't horrible, but wasn't we even really? we said it was like, yo, it's something about it we didn't like. It was yeah. Same okay. Way. I'm gonna go. Ahead. When you make a living off of off of doing what black people think is cool, you're gonna get criticized when you go another direction. He should have just kept it where it was. Kept it because when he did the soul and he took all the all the genuine beats, Timberland, you're dirty for that. <laughs> when he did that, in my opinion, it seemed like that was what his music always was. But when you do it and then you switch it up and go a whole nother route, then it makes people wonder, were you just pandering at the time? And that's why I think he's getting killed right now. I, I just don't think that the songs are enjoyable. No, they're not. It's just kind of start, start to the end. It's, like, it's a bad it's album. Like, uh, except for that Montana. That Montana's yeah. slapping. But come but, on, uh, bro. It's a, it's a country song with 808s. That's pandering, man. You you're the you're the one who always talks about pandering. You're gonna you gonna shrug at that? That's pandering, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Like, oh, I know this is I know this is a country song. Throw some eight oh eights on there because I know the black people like it. Hey man. <laughs> hey, listen. Yo, I'm like, telling you, that's what tried. it is. He took, he took the risk, man. It yeah. just didn't pay off. It just didn't pay yeah, off blurry, for him. Blurry boy, and blurry uh, boy. you know, hey man, that's how it goes. Listen, I uh, sometimes, man, that's that's how I gotta be for you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they, they get you on out the paint and you're gone, man. You got to go. You're done, though. And it's the, an OVO you're, tape. You're, you're, you're done, though. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and they definitely are getting him out of there, though. Yeah. It's not even hidden, though. That's but he'll be all right, man. Like, listen, um, if Eminem can uh, bounce back from uh, that revival dud, and it seemed like it, it like, listen, man, he did dropped he? it. People hated it. Did, and, Eminem uh, did, did, did Eminem bounce back, bro? I mean, it's over. It's over for that. Like, yeah. We ain't talking about how bad that is no more. No one's talking about anything. Yeah, nobody's talking about There's it. no remixes or we nothing just, out there. Yeah, we just forgot about it. So, yeah. Hey, man, he's fine. We'll see. I, I don't know if Justin can come back from this. I don't know if what is, what's going to happen from it. I just know like the, the halftime show that came about wasn't that great, and that had a lot to do with it, too. Um, who knows, man? Yeah, who, who knows? knows? Get this camera together here. All right, man. So, Quincy Uh-oh. Jones. Quincy Jones is telling everything. Everything. Yeah, he's everything. everybody. Everything, bro. Marlon Brando is the GOAT, according to him. Wow. <laughs> he's the something. He's the something. Mar- Marlon Brando is out here giving it to everybody. Pause. Uh, including Richard Pryor, mailboxes, nothing was safe. Nothing of course, was safe. nothing yeah. was safe. Michael Jackson stole everything. Michael Jackson stole everything. He didn't. He basically said Michael Left wasn't humble. For nobody. But one thing he did say, one of the gems in the interview I got though that was like it got me was like he tell people like yo make just make good music. You know, hey man, listen, Quincy. Just because you ain't feeling the trap drums, bro, don't mean it ain't good, man. La di da di da. Hey, look, man, Quincy 85, man. He about to log off. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Quincy don't care. He 85. Give, give, give him a, a pint, a pint of uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that future juice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, throw some auto tune on him, man. Listen, he could be a trap star, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Quincy on his way out, man. We all, we all know that. Quincy ain't got nothing else to live for. He rich. His legacy is pretty much already cemented. That's just how it go. That's how it go, bro. Yeah. That's just how it is. We just do audio on this boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. yeah. So yeah, Quincy on his way out of here, man. So you know, he he talked. I thought it was more telling that he just talked about everybody that ain't here no more. You know, Marlon Brando and uh, those are stories he got to tell, man. Those, yeah. Marvin Gaye and Richard Pryor, all them guys, man. Hey, listen, he know ain't no consequences for that. Right. Yeah. You know? All right, man. So your boy, our boy, Childish Gambino signs a new deal, new music on the way, but still plans to retire. Ch- Childish Gambino moniker. Yeah. So what does that mean? I don't know. Like, so I don't, is, does that mean he's not going to make music anymore? Does that mean he's just not going to go by Childish Gambino? What's the new music going to sound like? I, you know, I think I got more questions than answers from that whole thing, man. Exactly, because I don't even know what that means. If he's going to, uh, is it just singing? Is it not rapping? Is it rapping, not singing? I mean, what is it going to be? I don't know. I don't know, man. Tough yeah. call. We'll just leave it at that. But um, 
I guess we'll see. I mean, it's, it's news, so I mean, you keep us on, keep us on our toes. Yeah. All right, man. So Drake is prepping for uh, the video for God's Plan. Yeah. Definitely. You've been asking this as a new album in a way. I definitely think so. You know, it's about that time. It's been about a year since More Life. Yeah. Uh, and he's all over the place, man. Got got a new banger with uh Block Boy JB. Yeah. I like that track. Uh, I like that polo jacket he has on there. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was fire, yeah. man. Uh, diplomatic community, God's Plan out here. Yep. Everybody really feeling that. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely think he's gearing up for something, man. I'm gonna tell you what though. Watching uh, how he's moving for this God's Plan video, man. I, you can't hate on the boy. No, you, know you what I'm can't. Saying? That's pretty dope. He took his whole budget, man, and just did uh, just did charitable works, man. Yeah. And that was God's plan. Like, yeah. that, that's pretty fire. Yeah, I saw him giving away money to, he gave somebody a car. Yeah, bought somebody a car, man. Gave uh, some girl a scholarship. Yeah. Donated money to a school, a women's shelter. Um, bought everybody's groceries in the grocery store. Yeah. Uh, went out, just took an ice cream truck out, giving out free ice cream. Like, <laughs> yo, man, you, you can't be mad at that. No, man. you, you know can't. What I'm took his whole budget, man, and just gave back to the people. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I think, and the thing about it is, you criticize. Drake, the more like I even hear like uh, I, heard, I heard Big Daddy Kane on, on Drink Champs uh -huh. and they were asking him about writing because they basically told about Drake if uh, a rapper can be one of the best ever but didn't write his own rhymes and Big Daddy Kane said everyone gets help. Everyone gets help. Except for Hope. Except for Hope. Yeah. Except for Hope. Um, but he said everyone gets help and, uh, and KRS won too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think that that's cements that. But as far as with Drake though, I think his time, it's going to be the Drake season again next year if he comes back with an album. Yeah. I do think he owes us a, a better that's much better but a solo project whereas like more life was more of like a playlist it was yeah. it was just his group getting them on so we'll see yeah i mean it is time to uh to replace views man i don't yeah. think anybody revisits views no yeah it's pretty no. pretty pretty sucky. views has some had a couple hits i got some in my playlist i added but far straight through no absolutely yeah. not take all the island crap off all right man so our boy friend of the podcast quavo he's putting pause on people again he put, yes <laughs> yes it's the way of the amigos <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hell, man, they got to control these damn Migos, it's man. Like Migo gang, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can get it. And it wasn't it right after the Grammys or yeah, something like that? Yeah, it was a jeweler. I guess a jeweler, he paid to do it. Got to talk it slick. Got to talk it slick. And Quavo put them paws on Quavo him, Quavo put the paws on him, man. Let's go. I love it, man. I love it with my hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You would, man. He put the paws on him, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not put hands and feet hey, on him. Listen, boy. this is where his story's going to come and go. It'll be something next week. Yeah. You know? Offset will be recording himself doing something stupid again. So, y'all yeah, want my boy my boy, uh, Takeoff to get some damn pub, man. Hey, he man. ain't getting nothing. Like, Takeoff probably the smartest one out the group, man. He, he just lay low and do <laughs> He was thing. eyes he a kite just... on that interview. I mean, that, uh, <laughs> that concert. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Issa Rae uh, put him on blast. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. He know he know he ain't got no part on bad bougie. Right. It looked like you was left off bad bougie. Right, it's all right. Ain't no bad bougie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, more. Yeah. We need more of that, man. More of that. More of that, man. More goon antics, man. Put put more hands and feet on people. Absolutely. You know man. what I'm saying? Absolutely. But yo, man, that is it, man. We um, that is Games News Life Podcast 106 in the books. Yes. Leave some comments below if you guys want to talk about anything. This will probably just be on iTunes, so check it there. Um, let us know, man. Absolutely. This, but yo, I am Nadine. This can. And yo, we are Games News Life. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.